The Fast and Furious franchise is known for its thrilling car chases and charismatic star cast, and this week we got an action-packed trailer of its sequel Fast X, which will get released this year. So during the premiere of the Fast X trailer, Vin Diesel expressed his interest in casting Robert Downey Jr. as the antagonist in the next and final installment of the Fast and Furious franchise. Moreover Diesel revealed that he had even pitched Robert for the role, and he mentioned that the character he have in mind for RDJ is of a man who promotes AI and driverless cars, which would serve as a total antithesis to Diesel's character of Dom Toretto. However he did not confirm whether Robert have accepted this offer, but if this truly happens, we will encounter an epic showdown between the Fast family and one of the greatest actors of our time. So what do you think? Would Robert Downey Jr. join in as the villain of Fast and Furious 11? So today Ryan Reynolds himself made it official that Emma Corrin have joined the Deadpool team, and she will be playing a negative role in the movie. While he didn't reveal much about the character, but since then fans have been speculating that she will be playing the role of Danger. So Danger Room was actually created by Professor Xavier to train his X-Men team, but eventually the room's programming mutated to an artificial humanoid female form and confronted herself as the Danger. And since she knew all the combat techniques and weaknesses of the X-Men, she had been a menace for Professor Xavier and his team. Ultimately her origin and powers will be altered, but since Wolverine will be introduced in the movie, and also it is rumored that Professor Xavier will have a cameo, so her primary motive will remain the same that is eliminating Professor X. It will be exciting to watch her as the danger, but it is not official yet, and eventually she will surely play her role excellently, whatever character she gets. So here is a list of all the Marvel movies either under production or the production will be starting soon. I don't know why I am making this video, as you guys must have already heard about this, but still hoping to get some views. So first we have the Agatha series which is under filming now, and we got several photos from the set. Then the Daredevil Born Again shoot will start in few weeks from now, this is surely one of the most anticipated series of this phase. Then we have Captain America 4 and Wonder Man series, the shoot of these will start late March or early April. And the Armor Wars filming will start this April, and will take 4 months to officially warp up. Then we have The Blade, filming of this movie will start late May, and finally we have the Thunderbolts production starting this June. Comment below which movie are you most excited for, and you haven't subscribed yet, haven't you? After a long wait and lots of speculations, the Flash trailer is finally here, and it's surely worth the wait. The trailer banks on two of the iconic Batman heroes, both Ben Affleck and Michael Keaton reprises their role as the Dark Knights. And we also got the first look of Supergirl Kara L and the antagonist General Zod. And on the top of all this, we have two different versions of Barry Allen's Flash. So the trailer showcases Flash traveling back in time, to change the events of the past and save his family. But he ends up creating a new alternate timeline, where there are no superhero around, and then General Zod from the alternate timeline shows up, and things gets bad. So as the scenario get worse, Barry tries to get help from both of the Batmans, Michael Keaton and Ben Affleck, and eventually rescues Girl of Steel to fix up the mess. The Flash movie is going to have a significant impact on the DCU storyline, and this trailer perfectly showcased the prominence of the movie, and have made the fans more excited for the movie. The upcoming Big Bad Kong is actually a powerless human being. So Nathaniel Richards is just a scientist without any superpower, quite similar to Tony Stark, he become powerful either by making his own weapon or stealing weapons from other timelines. In short, he is an opportunist, a genius and a master time traveler, and almost all his weapons already existed in the Marvel Universe. And all these weapons like the Ten Rings and Miss Marvel's bangles which were introduced in the Phase 4, are actually weapons from the future which are hidden in the past from dangers like Kong, and now Kong will try to steal those weapons for his own good, as it happens in the comics. And even in the Infinity Saga, all the Infinity Stones were introduced one by one, so that at the end the main antagonist could utilize them.